So I was just minding my own business yesterday when I got an email that said Hades 2 is out on early access. I had no idea this was about to come out, I'll be honest. But I've been excited for it for a while. Because I do quite like a little bit of Hades. So obviously, yes, this is early access and from what it looks like, there are going to be an early access for this year, I think. Yeah, first major update is later this year. And we are expected to be in early access at least through the end of 2024. So yeah, it's going to be in early access for a while. Much like I think the original was as well. But here's the stuff they're currently working on. But uh, also, much like the original Hades though, the early access version is actually just quite good on its own already. Obviously, it doesn't have all the content yet, but... That's fine. Uh, but yes, um, disclaimer, I have done a couple of runs already, unlocked a second weapon. I have no idea if these other four weapons are even available in the early access yet. I don't think so. Yes, we got ourselves the, uh, the lucky tooth from this fella. Oh. Oh, he, he's got he's gone. There was someone there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the crossroads, which is the uh, replacement for the House of Hades, which is the hub area basically. We can do our upgrades here. Of my predecessors. This is a replacement for the mirror, and now we have these tarot cards that we can choose from. There's our Death Defiance. I don't have enough Ash to get it yet, which is one of the uh, resources that you can gather. We have, a, we have an entire inventory this time around. And back here, there's a couple of people to talk to. They've already exhausted their dialogue. And here's Hypnos. One of the recurring characters from the original. Though, to be fair, there's not actually that many recurring characters in the, um, in the uh, hub area. Most of these people are brand new characters. Though when we actually get into the run, we'll be seeing a few familiar faces. And here's something that I don't know yet. That down there is where you go to start the actual run. And there's this up here as well, which is currently sealed. Which goes upwards. I don't know what that's about yet. But let's, let's begin a run, shall we? I, I just wanted to play a bit of uh, play a bit of uh, Hades 2 because it's quite good. Look, okay, this is brand new. I've never seen this before. She's deviated from her path. Great Titaness, the Eye of Night. I draw you down. Lend me your might. Good evening to you, little star. Hi there. Our cycles now are intertwined, as I no longer can afford merely to watch. Whichever threat we face, I vow to shine for you. Which suits you? Hex. What? That's something I haven't interfaced with yet. That, that's new. Okay. After using enough magic, while foes in the air, press right trigger to invoke the moon's might. I don't know what that means. I'll admit. Well, this is for. This is all for hexes. Okay. Which, yeah, I haven't figured out that mechanic just yet. Well, I see deals a lot of damage. I, sure. Moonbeam. <laughs> right Together trigger. Shine. Just now. Cool. Yeah, uh, much like in the original Hades, they don't give you a lot of story uh, up front. They kind of just throw you into it, kind of like just this. They just throw you into a run. And then you kind of just got to figure it out as you go. And so far, it seems like the story is... We are playing as Melanoir. Melanoi? Don't know how you pronounce it. Who is uh, Hades' daughter and Zagreus' sister from the original. 
And at some point, many years ago, it sounds like when Melanoi was born, which is after the original Hades. Uh, oh, resources. That's silver for upgrading uh, weapons. At some point, uh, the Titan Kronos did something. <laughs> I'm still not entirely clear on what, but it seems like he either destroyed the House of Hades or took it over. And it seems like the rest of the family, so Zagreus, Hades, and uh, Persephone, is that it? I always forget her name. And, you know, Nyx and all the others, they've all disappeared. So, I, I, it hasn't uh, explained where they are yet. But it seems like the only one left of the house is Melanoi here. And so our objective is to get back down to the house of Hades, where Kronos is uh, hiding out, presumably. And take back the house. And that's as much of the story as I know yet. <laughs> Here's one of the familiar faces from the original. So far, I've seen a few familiar gods and one new one. Or maybe two new ones. But yeah, there's, there's, there's a few of the uh, recurring. I've seen Poseidon, I've seen Demeter, and uh, Aphrodite, I think. So we are, we have been under the care of Hecate, who is called the Witch of the Crossroads. I don't know what that means. It seems like she was raising uh, Melanoi to be a fighter to take down Kronos. I don't know why she cares about uh, Hades and all that, but presumably we'll find out. But yes, give me your abilities. I like a good ice strike. Yeah, the, the change of the magic system in this. Where instead of having the uh, the little uh, crystals that you can use up, uh, yeah, let's go to the shop. Instead of having the crystals, you've got a uh, magic meter. The magic meter doesn't uh, recover recover during uh, encounters in this one. I'm entirely sure how I feel about the system. Forgive my impatience. I know infiltrating our enemy's ranks and discovering the details of his plans to conquer Olympus is sensitive work. Talkative as ever. <laughs> yeah. He he's a recurring character from the original. Of course. He'll be back any evening now, I'm sure. Just give me that uh What color is that? Ashes. For the Arcana. I believe I needed twenty to get an ability that I wanted. It seems like the underworld in general is actually kind of in chaos, <laughs> with uh, Kronos just deciding to rampage through and take over. So maybe that's why Hecate's getting involved. Makes sense to me. What would we do without him? True. Our best merchant, but yes, here is one of the new gods. So let's check him out, shall we? Because I've only got his stuff once, so I don't fully know what his deal is yet. And here's a balance change they've made, is uh, you're way more likely to encounter uh, shielded enemies early on. God damn! We might die on the first mini boss. There goes our death device. There we got him. 
just at the expense of one of our uh, death defenses. Do mind your time, sunshine. The Titan thinks he has us pinned, but we have the situation here under control. Just locked in a bit of a stalemate is all. Sure. Sprint is faster and inflicts days. You take damage, your foes take damage and inflict days on all foes. Nice. Your casts expand in size until they expire. Hmm. I kind of like retaliation damage, honestly. Not moonlight, that's for sure. That sounds fun. This, I believe, is an event. A person to talk to. There's an enemy here for some reason. And a flower. Ah. Is it truly you? No. I'm just taking your silver. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Arachne, the outfit you wrote for me was so beautiful. I'm sorry to say I got into a bit of a scrape or two, and I'm afraid it didn't survive. Oh, that's quite all right, silly. It wasn't made to last. What is? It was made to be in the moment with you. Now so here's a new mechanic is outfits, <laughs> which are kind of like, um, I guess the equivalent is like this shop in the original. Where they give you temporary buffs instead of lasting just for a specific amount of rooms. Uh, these are basically armor that has a health meter of its own. Mm. Yeah, well, that's got really low armor though, but sure. It matches your eye. My one eye? <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get some more ashes. I feel like that's going to be more useful. You can probably tell just by watching it. It's very similar to Hades 1, but obviously there is definitely some changes. Most of the changes are good. Like a lot of things got polished and there's uh, some refinements. They make things just feel a little bit more responsive. The magic meter system, I'm not entirely sure about yet. Maybe once I've got some things that let me actually regenerate it mid-battle, then it'll be alright, but... Uh, yeah, let's go for some nectar. Which works exactly like it does in the original. You give it to NPCs and they give you stuff. Yeah, damn these shouty guys! <laughs> I'm still getting used to the new, new attack patterns because, yeah, that is one thing is that it's all new enemies. I haven't seen any recurring enemies from the original yet. Let's go get Apollo again. I don't know if it's the best strategy, but I do. What I do usually prefer going for uh, boons and the god powers and all that. They just seem like they're the most useful. I'm also still getting used to this weapon, because this is my first time using this weapon. You start off with the Witch's Staff. There's your uh, default weapon. Which is interesting, it's more of a ranged default weapon, which is uh, not bad actually. Oh, I could have given him a gift. Ooh, that replaces something. An improved rarity, but it requires you to give up Ice Strike. Ooh, but deals more damage in a larger area. I do like that. Sure. Now. Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. The underworld of Hades holds more than the souls of the dead. Riches beyond imagination. Even the remains of the deathless titans. They'll end up back where they belong. Ooh, the hammer. It's another recurring element. Which, of course, from the original, is very good. Basically gives your weapon a unique ability. Your specials return to you and deals damage from behind. Okay. 
The last strike in your attack sequence deals 300% damage. Ooh, your special uses less magic. Hmm, but only the charged special, which is... Tricky. I'm going to go for the return damage, actually. That sounds fun. You can kind of see it, yeah. Okay. See, so yeah, this is the thing with this combat system, is every single uh, of the three attacks can all be charged. So you have the basic attack. And you can charge it to do a diff different attack. I don't know what that does in this one. Of the Witch's Staff, it was uh, quite a big um, line of damage, which is quite good. The special in this is you throw a knife, and you hold it down to do multi-knives. And the cast is the same with all the weapons so far. And I guess it slows enemies down when it's in that circle, I'm not sure. And you can charge it to make it do damage, I think. I'm still entirely sure how the cast works, I'll admit. Prompt as ever. Thanks. I'll get him, headmistress. I swear. Ah, uh, not likely. All that you've taught, I'll bring to bear. And no matter the obstacles that stand in the way, Kronos shall fall by my hand. I require no convincing, Malinoi, although perhaps you do. However much I've taught, what's important is you're a capable student. So yeah, this is Hecate, who kind of fills the role of Hades and um, the Furies. Because she's a character in the hub area that's kind of like our mentor. But rather than being the final boss, she's the first boss. I have to be more than that. And so far, I have yet to actually beat this boss. See, I've done like three or four runs so far, and uh, yeah, I, ha I haven't beaten this boss yet. See, I played a lot of the original Hades, but uh, I won't say I ever got good at it. <laughs> Just in general, I'm not very good at uh, action games. I don't have to. Uh. Yeah, this kind of has the same feeling of the first Hades. It was like the bosses seem like they just have a lot of health. Oh, what? Princess of the Underworld. I regret having to contact you at such a time. It's not my custom to intervene during moments of doom, only to observe. This is new. <laughs> Never seen this one before. Moments of doom. You're Lord Moros. Oh. Of the three fates. So your sisters heard me after all. They expected me to find you, for there's something they intend for you to have. Wherever you're going, Look for it when you arrive. I'm uncertain if we'll meet again. Farewell. I love how vague that is. <laughs> it's been an honor. Wait. Offering received. Cheers. Alright. <clears throat> He's gone. Well, that's new. Yes, welcome back to the uh, crossroads. Much like the original. When you die, you get sent back to the hub. And here is... One of the best new additions. I just met Doom Incarnate, Freenos. I'm not sure I should be excited about that. We have a pet frog. Ten out of ten. The modestly appointed tent of fierce Princess Melenui nonetheless is dutifully organized and immaculately clean. Melenui. For some of them I keep thinking it's Melanoi. I won't live in squalor. 
And here's a family portrait. Together, weren't they? And oblivious to the Titan's threat. So yeah, no idea what's happened to the rest of the gang. It hasn't explained that yet. I don't think they're dead because, you know, it was kind of the whole point of the original. These, these guys don't really die that easily. <laughs> I can give you the gift if I wanted to. Sure. Wanted you to have this, Dora. You're the best hunter in all the crossroads. See, I knew you were gonna pull this gift custom thing on me sooner or later, so I have come prepared. Catch. For me? Thank you, Dora. Ghost onion? Dora. Sure. But notice that my jar collection wasn't sorted properly. I would never store fungus with herbs. Are you trying to subtly drive me mad? No. Although now that you put it that way, maybe in the future, yes. I, I was working on minor possessions and your mushroom bottle kind of slipped. So I put it back. You put it incorrectly back. I... Oh, just tell me of such things next time, would you? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. This character, making up for all the sass missing from uh, Zagreus. <laughs> uh, ooh. Ah, I see. So this is like the, uh, the fates from the original. And I can claim this one for unlocking the silver blades, I guess. Prophecy fulfilled. And we get a flower. I uh, need to give five nectar away to get that, okay. Meet the messenger. Okay. Prevail in the lowest depths. Unlikely, but okay. Uh, increase grasp to 14. <laughs> I'll admit, I don't know what that means. And unlock all of the resource gathering tools. Um, yeah, that's that's just like in the original. Rise and shine. And here we can see this game's replacement for the contractor. Where we now have incantations, which it's the same thing. <laughs> you can unlock um, <clears throat> permanent passive upgrades, and this is also just like the original. Give the main weapon each night the random grave thirst, which gives you more bones. In the original, it gave you more. Was it shadow? <laughs> this is new, though. <gasps> is there a farming game? Is there a farming mini game? Let us shape reality. So it shall. I have to check. Okay. <laughs> we cannot be planted. This does not seem a suitable seed. In five... Clocks? <laughs> Grow into noxious plants. Oh, okay. <laughs> I assume that's five... Nights? Which is this game's terminology for the runs, I guess? I think. Okay, and let's uh, talk to some of the NPCs before we uh, the fates indulged you quit for the day. All. That is their scroll beside your tent. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. out of the shadows. Perhaps it can provide some answers. It's just provided more questions, honestly. Would that it does. The fated list has tasked me with ensuring certain minor prophecies are fulfilled. Though says little else as yet. May it reward your efforts at least. But do not expect the fates to always favor you. The bane of our enemy is not necessarily our friend. We'll have to take our chances. Here's the wretched broker, also from the original. Kind of fulfilling a uh, similar role. Yeah. I think I want, I think I want that, yeah. Be well. And I'm going to give that to Hecate. Hecate. Because more like in the original, the first time you give this to an every to every NPC, it seems like you get a reward for it. 
Ah, the hounds shall lap this stuff right up, I think. I shall safeguard it for them as a treat. And why don't you hold on to this in kind? Don't mind if I do. Your silver wheel. Ooh. I can have this. Sounds important. Headmistress couldn't ask for better familiars than you two. I'm not sure what their deal is just yet. Yeah, what? <laughs> Can't believe sucking up to the fates actually worked. That big scroll over there. That's really from them. Uh, apparently. Personally delivered by Lord Morris, no less. He seemed a little pressed for time, so we didn't get to talk much. Also, I was kind of dying. <laughs> We're children of Nyx. None of us are close. But we crossed paths. When certain mortals get what they deserve, it involves us both. I can only imagine. All right. Know the past, know the future. But yes, I want to get this. Oh, I don't think I can equip it because it needs five. I'm still going to lock it though. You know a kind of card requires more grasp than you have available, so it can't be activated yet. You may use the gauge in the top right to, uh, to increase your grasp. Uh, yes, yes, please. Uh, <laughs> got stuck in the menu for a second there. Um. Oh, this is what you psyche for. I can do this. Uh, but I don't have enough yet. Okay, so we'll have to uh, unequip something. Yeah, that seems more important. Very well. Neat. Ooh. The arms of night. Ah, oh, I can get one of these now. So I get the ta the tablet of peace, which compels lone shades in the crossroads and gains some psyche. Sure. Or I can get the silver spade to get more mystery seeds. Sure. The silver spade. You're mine. So here's the question. I've got two of these tools now. Oh, you can only bring one with you. Oh, that's mean. Okay. So each run you can really only specialise in getting one of the resources. Alright. Good to know. Let's have a look at these uh, keepsakes we got. After you use magic, restore it over three seconds. Up to a total of a thousand this night. Interesting. You exit a location, fully restore your life up to a total of 50 this night. Mm, don't know how I feel about that. Lucky Tooth is definitely better because it's just a basically a free death defiance. We bid you welcome to our training grounds. Let's switch back to the. How do I equip it? There we go. Discura, the witch's staff, with me, my friend. The old storage case. So. It's an heirloom from my family. That it is, and for as long as I can recollect. Look upon it knowing that the burden which you bear, you need not bear alone. Plus it'll keep your keepsakes all in one handy spot. A symbol of the gift-giving custom of Olympus, then. A tradition that now falls to us. Give gifts, get things in return. Works for me. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think that's literally the skelly from the original, although... He's got a beard now. <laughs> Not sure how that works. <laughs> Death to Kronos, Commander. Knock him dead, kiddo. And somehow he managed to get promoted to Commander. <laughs> Quite the rise in what's maybe like twenty years, I assume. I don't know how old Melanoi is. But he went from punching bag to Commander. <laughs> Quite the rise. 
you know, this is what the default uh, weapon looks like. And honestly, it is quite good. It's it's better than Zagreus's. Uh, uh, better than Zagreus's uh, default weapon was. Honestly, you get a lot more range and it attacks quite well. As well. Let us continue. The moon is new. Yeah, you can just go over here to uh, admire the art anytime you'd like. <laughs> Pretty. I think the moon does change each night. I don't think it looked like that last time I uh, did this. Hmm. Don't know what that means. <laughs> but yeah, this is Hades too. So far, it's quite good. I'm interested to see where it goes from here and see if they can actually fulfill on uh, improving on the original. I suppose we'll find out in a year. <laughs>